Okay, now we are live connected through um, Richard Litovsky. He is, what is he? He is the best man in the moment for the home cinema business, I think. <laughs> Thank you. That's very nice of you to say. So you are on CDR in Denver and you are from which company? So I'm the co-founder and CEO of Mad VR Labs, and we're bringing the Mad VR technology to the commercial markets for the first time. Yeah, the Mad VR. This is something which is known mostly also only from specialized, from really home cinema enthusiastic people. Um, it is a product. It's a software which is also developed from your partner, and he is a German guy. Right, Matthias. Matthias, yeah. yeah. So, so for the past 10 years, Matthias has been developing the video processing, the algorithm, video rendering that's always been very well regarded as being exceptional and extreme video performance. So Van VR from the beginning has always had this reputation uh, and well deserved for its extreme performance. And what's happened over more recent years is it's been starting to move a little bit more out of the extreme hobbyist and a little bit more into the mainstream. And so what we're doing is we're commercializing the Man VR technology to help bring it into the mainstream and so that you don't have to be a computer, you know, geeky guy like you and I to build our own HTPC and sit there tweaking it in all these settings just to be able to get the benefit of Mad VR. So now for the first time with the Man VR Envy that we're introducing today out here in Cedia is you have the ability to just buy a box, plug an HDMI in, HDMI out, and enter your peak nits, which we could talk a little bit about. And then you have a perfect, beautiful picture. And that's our user manual, by the way. I kind of get a kick out of it. Where's the user manual? The user manual is put your HDMI in, put your HDMI out, and enter your brightness and hit the button. That's it. That sounds well. but. What is behind Made VR? Also, you like to improve dramatically the picture quality. So, and it has specially to do with 4K, with HDR, with the bigger colors or more colors. So, what is happening and what is the reason why the people are using a very powerful PC? But this is a very critical point. You need to be a little bit uh, hardware specialist, software specialist. This is all done with a product we will speak about later on. So, at first, maybe you can explain me the, the benefit of the Made VR software. Yeah, so the, the primary benefit of Made VR is. You know, what a lot of hobbyists are doing that are using this, they're, they're limited to being able to play movies that are on their PC. So for movies that you're, for 4K Blu-ray players, your, your media players, Netflix, streaming, everything kind of moving to streaming as well, you know, people want to have the ability to take HDMI input and not have to sit there and mess with their own settings and building PCs and braking and drivers and, and all that. So what we've done is we've simplified everything. It's basically Mad VR in a box. So we, we're ATCP licensed, had a custom-made ATCP input card for us. So it's a fully licensed card and product for being able to take HDMI input into the device. And then you're now able to just use it with all of your sources. And they're not stuck with, oh, people will say, oh, I have this media player, I have this, but I can't use Mad VR because they're only using it for local content. And so this is the first time that now we're able to be able to have a plug-and-play way to bring Mad VR and our technology to the masses. Okay, Richard, but maybe you can explain for somebody which sure is the first time what is the benefit and point of the picture quality? What yeah, is the difference yeah. when I see, because yeah. we speak in the moment about dynamic HDR. That means we get from frame by frame the best in picture performance. And this is the software you are using to bring me the best with my projector. I need nothing to change on my projector or on television because now the electronics brings me the best of my projector I can see on the screen or on my television. Right. Yeah, it's a great point. So there's several different key ways that Mad VR and Envy optimize the video quality. One of which, and most popular right now, very in, is the 4K HDR dynamic tone mapping. We have a very unique approach to that, which also does highlight recovery to really recover some of the finer resolution that is typically lost by typical HDR tone mapping algorithms in use. So 
our tone mapping, we're able to look at every single pixel in every single frame 60 times per second. Let's say so if you've got a signal like a 4K60 signal, that's a half a billion pixels per second. We look at each and, and each and every individual pixel and decide, do we want to make it brighter? Do we want to make it darker? Do we want to leave it alone? Do we want to change its hue? Do we want to change its saturation? Or do we want to leave it alone? And so we're looking at all those pixels and making those alterations in real time with all these real-time feeds coming in. And so with that, we're now able to optimize and provide this dynamic picture. Because a lot of times these tone mapping algorithms are kind of confined. So you put on a movie that's kind of dark, and it just gets darker with HDR if it's not tone mapped properly. So tone mapping has been really important, because especially for people with projectors, 10-foot, 12-foot, 14-foot screens. It's a very low-knit situation. Even when you get into some of these higher-end projectors that are like dual stat, you still might be looking at two, 300 nits, which is a unit of brightness. But for movies that may be mastered at 4,000 nits, so the projector is left with the responsibility of trying to figure out how does I take these 4,000 different levels of brightness and be able to squeeze that down into 100, 200, maybe 300, if you're lucky, nits on a display. And so that's one of the things that we do. We also do 4K upscaling, which is really important for people that still have a lot of uh, Blu-rays, 1080p Blu-rays, um, Cable TV, satellite TV, all these kind of 4K sources are still very important. So we're able to use some advanced algorithms, and we're doing some of the nerdy stuff. Is that you know these are deep neural network, artificial intelligence based algorithms, and we believe that we're the first known company to be using that in the standalone video processor to be able to take that data and to be able to upscale it with such precise quality, which on a on a 55, 65, 75-inch TV is important, but when you start getting the 10-foot, 12-foot, 14-foot screen, even the smallest differences magnified and blown up that size become very large. And so there's other things, too, like debanding and mosquito noise reduction and cleaning up the signal that we can do for sources that are not so pure. So I hope that that kind of answers your question and the gist of why somebody would care and, and what kind of it does at a high level. Yeah, it's, I understand absolutely. The, 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 um, that means all is this happened in the small box. I need to be not an engineer because I have now the box with so two cables, HDMI in and out, and that's all. And the question is, you have two different boxes, two different envies. What is the difference between the, the basic model and the luxury version? Maybe in some sure. sense. Yeah, so the top end model is called the MV Pro Cinema. And the MV Pro Cinema has basically double the amount of horsepower and GPU ah, power okay. as the base model. Okay. And what does that mean? That means we can run more algorithms at higher quality levels. So the base model is good for people that are on more of a budget and want to get the best picture quality they can without going to the top end model. You still get excellent 4K HDR tone mapping, which is one of the big features. You get very good upscaling where you start to see the advantages take effect on the top end is when you get into things like um, things such as um, being able to run 4K60 through these algorithms, which are much more demanding, and you're running at like close to the 18 gigabit per second yeah. bandwidth, and being able to do things like run multiple algorithms. Like you want to run deep banding, you want to run sharpening, you want to run tone mapping. You could do that stuff with the base model, but Envy is going to be smart and knows, okay, they're asking a lot of me right now. I've got to kind of dumb things down a little bit. So it's still very good, but it's not going to be as good. So for the person that wants to really squeeze the maximum performance out of their system, they're going to want the pro cinema model. For people that are more budget-minded, that want excellent, but they don't really care about you know, getting it so perfect, they'll do very well with the base model. When can I have the first unit in my own hands? <laughs> Well, if you would have come out here and met us at Cedia, yeah. <laughs> you could have done you could have done it right now. You could just go over and place your hands right on the box. Yes, um, I tried. <laughs> yes, um, we are expecting to release in Q4, so coming up. Maybe so Christmas. It will be a big Christmas present. Yeah, yeah, we're hoping so for everyone. Okay, Richard. 
Uh, I think, thank you very much. I heard that your thank booth you. was so busy. You are really one of the highlights of this year in the exhibition. The people were really surprised because you make a big secret about your story and about the product. Yeah. And now they are more surprised than uh, they expected and they like it very much. I saw the first reactions on the forums and people are very happy that those boxes are now coming and they wish you the best yeah. for the company and for the product. And we will see it as soon as possible. Yeah, thank you very much. We were actually kind of a bit overwhelmed by the by the response too. We actually kind of had the the press here kind of coming over and saying, "What's going on over here? You know, why is there all this traffic or so?" Uh, <laughs> being our first show, it's a, it's a lot to take on, but we're having fun. Super. Sounds very well. Sounds very good. And we will be in contact. And thank you very much, Richard. Yeah, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it.